Hi, my name's Scott. Today, we're gonna to be having a little bit of a look at two dyno sheets from two different cars, a Toyota Supra and an R35 GDR. Now, what we're actually gonna be looking at, we're gonna be comparing the power that these two cars make uh, in order to understand better how the dyno operates and then to understand how we can use our closed loop boost control in order to make more power down low in the rev range on your car. When we're doing power runs on the dyno, typically we're doing them in fourth gear with a gear ratio of one to one so that we rule gear ratios out of the equation when we're measuring the power. On our dyno graph, we're measuring road speed along the bottom axis and power in kilowatts around this axis. So what I can look at here is I can notice that 120 kilometers an hour, our 2JZ is making roughly 150 kilowatts at the wheels, whereas our GDR is making 350 kilowatts at the wheels. So highlighting the R35 has a lot more area under the graph than our 2JZ Supra, even though they're both making the same peak power of around 400 kilowatts at the wheels. Now, the, the driving experience in the R35 will be better because you've got more power for a longer amount of time and more area under the graph. In the real world, the R35 is gonna feel more powerful and it is gonna pull from lower down in its rev range uh, for a lot longer, whereas the 2J will take a little bit longer to come on boost. Once it initially comes on boost, both cars making the same power. So on the dyno, the same outright power number is gonna be there. However, different amounts of power overall have been made. You may have heard your tuner talking about streetable power. This area of your dyno sheet around here is the streetable power. That's where you're gonna be driving your car day to day when you're not on the racetrack. So being able to make more power in this area of the dyno sheet is certainly gonna make the car feel more responsive and be more powerful on the road every day. Now, to make these cars feel more powerful and make more power in these areas where they're making around sort of 150 kilowatts for the Supra or 350 kilowatts for the R35, the, the difference is in the way that we do the boost control. So using a traditional bleed tap or straight off the wastegate, for example, the turbocharger is gonna come on and be a, a lot more lazy than it would be if we were using a closed loop boost control system where the, the ECU would allow the turbo to spool up as fast as possible and make as much boost as low as possible but still retain the same overall boost pressure. By doing this, we will pick up somewhere in the vicinity of 20 to 30% more power right down low where we're making sort of 150 kilowatts. I'd expect somewhere sort of 100 and 170, 180 kilowatts in the low down areas, resulting in a better car to drive. While I understand that this car is making 400 kilowatts at the top end when you're racing the car and when it's flat out, so adding an extra 20 or 30 kilowatts doesn't sound like a huge amount of power, but putting in perspective, when you're driving down the highway and using 20 or 30 kilowatts and pull out to overtake another car, stepping into the throttle and having an extra 20 or 30 kilowatts instantly does make a huge difference to the way your car performs. And it's all for the use of a single boost control solenoid, so why not put it on? In order to do this on your turbocharged car, basically what we'd like to talk about is using closed loop boost control in order to bring the boost on on your car as early as possible in order to pick up a lot more power in the areas where you're typically driving the car, somewhere around this sort of area. To learn more about the Haltech closed loop boost control or any other advanced function of our Haltech ECUs, don't forget to have a look through our channel for any instructional videos. As always, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And if there's any tech article that you'd like covered in one of the next videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.